Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis. As Bitcoin is on this 10,800 region, it feels really good to be back making a uh, technical analysis video for you all, obviously after my extended breakaway on holiday. So uh, yeah, hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. Uh, a lot to go over, obviously my last update was when we were sat at around 9,300, so quite the climb we have had, but overall just another lower high. Uh, so I'll cover my thoughts how I've been trading this. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so obviously this morning, this morning, this morning, I was making this tweet uh, saying about how it seemed very likely that we were, you know, this was then, this is obviously the, the daily chart here, one, two, third time of touching this hourly level. Obviously, becoming weaker, looked as if we were going to drop down into this. Well, firstly, we have to be uh, aware of, the, obviously, the 10,800 region, which was a strong support. And we are currently bouncing off that region, okay? If we look at the, this is the four-hour chart I've got up here. We can look at the, uh, you know, here, the four-hour exponential moving average. It is a key exponential moving average on the four hours, so it has to be, you know, dealt with importance and just below it we do have the 0.5 fib haven't quite touched that yet we haven't quite touched it uh, but we do have that cluster of support which is this cluster here of price action the four hour exponential moving average and the 0.5 just below one would expect a bounce here uh, whether this bounce will follow through uh, obviously that that's that's to come that will be uh, seen over the next few hours okay especially the daily close which is obviously going to be in uh, we've got the daily close in six hours okay so the daily close is going to be important today uh, if we can close above uh, I would say a key support level that we have to be looking at 10,700 that's the 0 0.5 and the four hour you want to close above that okay um, so I'm, I'm looking 10,700 a key support and really, in the short term, you're looking at re resistance now, um, really 11,200. So this small range uh, that one could uh, expect to play out over the coming, you know, 24 hours or so, this sideways range. We'll see if that develops, uh, obviously, over the next 24 hours. That, that's what I'd be looking, though, as, as a key support and a key resistance. Obviously, if we get to reclaim 11.2, then you're looking back up to the weekly 11.4. But that would be a sign of strength for me if we get up to... Uh, the weekly level again, okay, because I would really much expect uh, 11 2 to now flip into resistance if it's going to hold, okay, if it doesn't, apologies, if it does hold and we do in fact lose the 0 0.5 fib, then I personally would be looking down towards the 618 slash monthly level where we have the potential of an inverse head and shoulders, left shoulder, possibly a double head and then a right shoulder forming here, so you do have the possibility of this inverse head and shoulders right there. OK, um, so that's yeah, that's really what I'm looking at over the next uh, really to the end of this week. So from what we are now Tuesday uh, to really Sunday, that's where I'll be looking to trade between uh, really the weekly and the monthly. And really much I will just be sculpting this day trading rather than some sort of uh, long term uh, position being built here. I much prefer to just day trade this little sculpts in and out um, when we are between two major levels. OK, this is a major support, obviously a major resistance. Obviously, on this move up, we broke through the major level, which was 10.3. Okay, obviously, just before I went away, I gave you this. Uh, obviously, Bitcoin support was 9,080. As you can see, we literally held 9,080 here by $20. So that is uh, support doing what it's meant to do, no? So literally, we held that support by $20, went through the resistance, back tested, broke the resistance, back tested, and then moved up again up to 12,000. So yeah, if you took any notice of what I posted here, that hopefully worked very well for you. Um, yeah, there's not too much for me to go through here, apart from obviously alts, uh, they they were doing relatively meh this morning and they've all started to do relatively well. Now Bitcoin's decided to have this leg down here. If you look on the hourly chart up against most alts, you can see as Bitcoin goes down, you can just see here the alts obviously doing very well. There's that's no real, um, nothing really surprising there, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I'm looking at on the shorter term on Bitcoin. Really, that's key support 0 0.5 up to the resistance 11.2. Um, and yeah, we'll see and monitor this how it goes. Hopefully, I'll have an update again for you all tomorrow. This was just a quick update to say, yay, I'm back. You can uh, expect some more content from me now. Obviously, where I was... I was up in the Swiss mountains, very, very nice up here, or very cold, which was uh, really funny, actually, because it was uh, really cold down below. Okay, down below, I mean, uh, on the ground, <laughs> not in the mountains, and then you went up to the mountains. We went from like 30 degrees down to zero degrees. Uh, it was crazy, but uh, yeah, lo really, really loved it. Obviously, this was the uh, technical analysis book that I brought with me. This book is like my book, and it's like seven years old. And I can remember when I first got this book um, and just reading through it, and it like blew my mind, blew my mind. But I didn't understand all the concepts like I understand them today. And so rereading this book seven years later was just a uh, really, really good read, and I do recommend this. Um, really good fib. This is fee circles there. Uh, yeah, amazing. And there's Fibonacci circles right there. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, those are the key levels that I am looking at and will be trading from uh, over the next real 24 hours. And then I'll give another update. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this is progressing going into the weekly close, which is obviously <laughs> still quite a while away, five days. So um, yeah, that's what I'll be looking at. That's what I'm trading off of. Uh, getting back into it, obviously, first day back today after the vacations. Always a slower start to get into it before I start going bang, 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 bang on those scalp trades. Um, oh yeah, this was talking of scalp trades this is what i'm going to be doing in my contender stream uh literally going to be teaching everybody uh in the contenders or champions uh how i do my scalping strategy so that's that that'll be a fun video uh over at chart champions <laughs> so um yeah i hope you've all enjoyed this update today uh thank you so 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 much for the support hope that you are excited as i am to be back and uh yeah let's let's get that money let's crush that charts <laughs> thank you so much and i'll catch you in the next update or just over on twitter where i'll be posting lots of updates in the day now i'm now i'm around again so yeah thanks everybody cheers goodbye <laughs>